Hi, I'm Willow, and today I'm exploring one of the regions of Georgia, the Piedmont, which is the red region on our map, located between the southeastern coastal plain and the mountainous regions up north. So chant along with me as we get ready to explore the Piedmont. In the state of Georgia, in the state of Georgia, there are many different regions. There are many different regions. Where are we now? Where are we now? In the Piedmont. In the Piedmont. Low rolling hills. Low rolling hills. A lot of clay too. A lot of clay too. Some waterfalls. Some waterfalls. Let's go explore. Let's go explore. The Piedmont is the second largest region in Georgia, next to the southeastern coastal plain, and takes up about one third of the entire state. Many, many people live here, mostly because the capital of Georgia, Atlanta, is located here. As we said in our chant, the Piedmont is known for its red Georgia clay, low rolling hills, and some waterfalls. It's also home to many types of plants, including oak, hickory, and poplar trees. Fun fact, Piedmont means foot of the mountains because it's located directly south of the Blue Ridge Mountains, the Valley and Ridge, and the Appalachian Plateau. Now that we've gotten a chance to explore the Piedmont region, I think it would be lots of fun to go on an adventure in the mountains of Georgia. So chant along with me. Ready? Let's go! In the state of Georgia, in the state of Georgia, there are many different regions. There are many different regions. Where are we now? Where are we now? In the mountains. In the mountains. Very high peaks. Very high peaks. Rocky soil too. Rocky soil too. It's so cold. It's so cold. Let's go explore. Let's go explore. The highest peak in Georgia is known as Brasstown Ball as you can see by this triangle on our map. Located in the Blue Ridge Mountains, this peak is 4,784 feet high. Isn't that amazing? The Blue Ridge Mountains are a well-known vacation spot with lots of tourist destinations. If you travel west, you'll end up in the Valley and Ridge region. This region formed over millions of years, but how? Well, the stronger, denser rocks were resistant to erosion creating ridges on the tops of the mountains, like this. While the softer, weaker rock eroded away, creating valleys, like this. If you were to travel further west, you would end up in the Appalachian Plateau. Situated at the base of the Appalachian Mountain Range, this region is known for its amazing hiking trails and caves to explore. In the Piedmont and mountainous regions of Georgia, there are many different types of trees, including Schumard oaks, and tulip poplars. These trees and many others are deciduous. That means lose their leaves in the fall. Well, what do we do with all these leaves once they're on the ground? Some people rake them up and burn them, or put them in trash bags and throw them away. But there's a better way to deal with these leaves. We can compost them. So what is composting? Composting is when you take items that usually get thrown away in the trash and instead put them in a bin or in the corner of your yard outside. After several weeks, everything that you put inside will turn into fertile soil. Let's try an activity where we figure out which items can go into our compost. Stand on up and have enough room to move around. Are you ready? Let's start with this fruit. After we eat them, what do we do with the banana and orange peels and the apple core? If you think they belong in the compost, jump up and down. What do you think? If you're not jumping, you should be, because these belong in the compost. What about paper? Do you think paper like this belongs in compost? If you do, run in place. Hmm, 
Are you running? You should be, because just like fruit, paper belongs in the compost. What about Coke cans and glass jars? If you think these belong in the compost, I want you to pat your head and rub your belly. Think about it. Do these belong in the compost? If you're patting your head and rubbing your tummy, freeze, because these won't go in our compost. Instead, items like aluminum and glass can be recycled. What about crushed eggshells? Do these belong in the compost? If so, I want you to do a star jump. This is a tricky one because yolks can't go in the compost, but eggshells do. So star jump with me. What about bacon and chicken bones? Do these belong in the compost? If you think so, I want you to spin around in a circle. Take your time and really think about this one. If you're spinning, I want you to freeze because these do not belong in the compost. There's too much fat on our bacon and chicken to break down properly in our compost. So what exactly do we need to help our compost break down? First, we need the right amount of water not too much and not too little, kind of like a damp sponge. The second thing is that compost needs decomposers like bacteria, fungi, or worms to help break down the material a little bit more easily. The third thing is that every now and then we need to use our shovel, hoe, or rake to mix it up like this. Mix with me. Once you put in everything you need, and the sun warms the compost, you'll get a great surprise. Fertile soil that you can use in your garden.